Hello to all of you. I wanted to post this video here as well, the one that you just seen, with a fellow that claims that he is a Republican, conservative whatsoever. And the left just jump into the video uh, screaming, see, I told you, this guy, he's a Republican, he's a conservative, and look at what his son did. His son, uh, the unfamous, uh, the monster that killed the innocent people there in, uh, you know, in Colorado, Colorado Spring, uh, Club KU. He went there, he finished uh, those people off. Uh, Praise God, someone stopped him beat him up really badly like as he deserved took him out of the picture and now we find out that he is uh, non-binary he identifies uh, with this uh, and he's a part of lgbtq as well uh, non-binary people are a part of lgbtq isn't it if it's not correct me if i'm wrong now the left they they got this video and they said see i told you they forget one thing because the left, uh, they are superficial. They are uh, projecting always on others. They do not go deep and search. Emotional as well. Uh, loads and loads of people uh, you, you see on Twitter, especially on Twitter still. I forgot. Uh, they said that they're going to leave Twitter if uh, Elon Musk takes over, but no. There is this account that I'm not going to advertise here. That they said, oh, this is the proof. Look, we have this video in which this fellow says that he's a Republican conservative. If they were to dig a little bit deeper, they will find out that this fellow had nothing to do with his son. His son grow without a father. The fellow is a crackhead. He is on drugs. He used to be in the MMA. He had that kind of life with alcohol and drugs, all of it mixed up in a... In a disgrace uh, uh, mixture, if you allow me to put it this way. He was a porn star as well. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's happening with him now. He looked on drugs anyway when uh, someone uh, went, uh, took this interview and for the shock value, he said that he is a conservative Republican, even if he was. He has no connection whatsoever with his son because he was a violent man. He used to beat his wife up and probably his son as well. Maybe that's why he's so messed up because he grew up without a father. He had no values in his life. Look at him. Aldrich, whatever his name or her day name is. <laughs> Aldrich is uh, dependent on drugs, um, alcohol, uh, depression, anxiety, all that <clears throat> mixed up in one. He has no direction in life, just like his beautiful father, just like this guy. He grew up without his father. The contact between him and his father is zero. So even if he was a Republican conservative, like what he is saying now, but uh, his credibility is zero, you can say that you're something, but you, you need as well to show some proof that you are what you claim to be, isn't it? <laughs> The left is always like this. They always uh, stop uh, themselves as, as shallow waters. Yeah, they go in shallow waters. They never go deep. If they will look deeper, they will find out more. But because they're emotional, because they use the emotion always to the left, there is this emotional factor that they use. They don't use logic because they have no logic. They don't use common sense because they don't have no common sense. So how can you make connection between a, a father that was a non-existent father, a horrible uh, uh, model to his son? That's why he changed his name as well, the fellow, the, the, this uh, shooter. He changed his name because he had nothing to do with, he wanted to have nothing to do with his so-called father. So there was hatred, there was uh, animosity in bet between themselves. Even if the father now, let's suppose that he tells the truth and he is a conservative Republican. Let's suppose. Even though I don't believe that, as a, there is nothing in his life to show that he is a conservative Republican. Where is the morality? Where is sobriety? Is he this, is this sober? <laughs> it looks like he's an alcohol binge. <laughs> Where is all this? How can you... Do you know what does it mean to be a conservative or a Christian? 
someone that has a, a life that, that is put together, not someone that is a poor star, not someone that is uh, addicted to drugs, not someone that uh, uh, is consumed by hatred. Uh, but because the left, sadly, the vast majority of people that are on this side of the, the real, <laughs> they have this in their life, they project on others and they see others as they really are. Saul Alinsky is very famous in the, in the, the communist um, anarchist circles. He always said, if you want to be successful and destroy your enemy, always project on your enemy, your own mistakes, your, your own um, illness, project it on your enemy. Shout out at your enemy what you're guilty of, and you'll destroy your enemy. Because uh, as you shout out more and more, as you have a louder voice, others will believe. That's how it is. That's what the left is doing. The shooter is non-binary. That's what he says he is. There are proofs that, that he is what he says he is. Why he was there in Club Q to begin with. How he can manage to, to get in there with guns and all with all the, there was a tight security in there as well. Why why nobody thought it's uh, weird for that guy to be there? Maybe because he was going there again and again? Maybe because he was uh, uh, someone familiar with that place? Because he was one of their own? If you use your logic, you'll be able to, to get deeper and to find out more. If you use your emotions, you'll stop at this kind of observations. Like just because his father, a non-existent father, that had nothing to do with uh, how this uh, young man was raised. And look at him. He's, he's looking horrible as well. He's, he's not fit. He's super fat. He, that, he, you see that he doesn't take care of himself. And it's so sad because he's just, he's just like 20... 20 something, I think 23 or 24. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hit me out there in the comment section and tell me if you know exactly. I think he's about 23, 24 years old. He looks older than that. He doesn't take care of himself. He's overweight. Conservative, Republican. <laughs> you tell me. You tell me. You tell me. But of course, if you are left, you are on the left. You are passionate about division and you want to, to destroy your enemies projecting on your enemies what you really are it's always like this that's my comment to this uh, really hyped video i've seen it on twitter it has about seven million views so god bless you all thank you so much friends and don't be superficial get deeper and you'll find out more than uh, these people that they stop just there at the surface. They don't want even to scratch a little bit under the surface to see what lays on underneath. Thank you very much. I appreciate what you're doing, the fact that you come and watching my videos. And if you like what I'm doing, smash the subscribe button for me. See you all. Love you all. Even neutrals. <laughs> see you.